Should the Detroit Lions re-sign Kenny Galladay? Let's talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode. Thank you for liking, for commenting, and subscribing. Guys, girls, we are close to 1,000 subscribers. It's getting there. I am excited. It's kind of incredible and very unexpected. So all I can do is say thank you. Seriously, thank you. But today, the main topic that we are discussing is should the Detroit Lions re-sign Kenny Galladay? To pay Galladay or not? That is the question. And it's a tough one. If I'm going to be honest, this is a question I did not expect to be asking at the end of the 2020 season. Like, this breaks my heart to have to even ask this. I love Kenny Galladay. I love him. Watching that man work on a Sunday is like watching Bob Ross paint those happy trees. It is beautiful. Kenny Galladay is an absolute stud. He's a playmaker. Look at, I just keep thinking back to that Atlanta game this year. After this season, a lot was exposed. There was a lot exposed from the Detroit Lions perspective. And two things, it's basically like a cause and effect type of motion here. The main problem is A, our defense was exposed for lack thereof. Our defense was absolutely exposed to being pitiful, awful, just the worst thing I have ever seen. And if you don't have a defense, you can't win. Defenses win championship. There's a reason that's a saying. And basically what I'm getting at is because our defense is so bad, we can't pay Galladay. Allow me to explain. Our defense needs to be addressed. That, that whole situation having one of the worst defenses in the nfl has to be addressed it has to be and not only addressed it has to be fixed if you want to stand a chance in the nfl if you want to put up a fight especially looking at next year's schedule the defense has to be fixed going into the 2020 season i was all aboard the Pay Galladay Express. I'm talking shoveling coal, all sweaty, into the engine room, making that train move. That's where I stood. Pay the man, pay the man, pay the man. But then the 2020 season unfolded. We can't pay Galladay. In the NFL, you can't just channel divinity like a level three cleric. You can't just bless or cure wounds. If we want to heal our defense, we have to not pay Kenny Galladay. That money can't go towards an injured Galladay and a future that might end up being like Todd Gurley's if we are looking to fix our defense, to restructure our defense, and to fix those holes that are letting out a little bit too much blood. We saw what happened with Kenny Galladay off the field this year. We struggled offensively, trying to get our footing all year long. Stafford, the run game, hitting Hawkinson. Like, there really, there were so many areas where there was struggle, but our offense ended up coming together and playing well. We really only had one miserable game this last year, offensively speaking, and that was against Carolina. That was the shutout, the 20 to nothing shutout. That was the only game offensively that I can really look back to and say, misery. Otherwise, offense did their job for the most part, even with DeAndre Swift getting injured, even with Marvin Jones having to carry the team on his back. I would say offensively, we were fine. It was the defense that was miserable. And so Kenny Galladay out of the picture, specifically after the Atlanta game, it kind of hit me as much as Galladay is incredible, a top 10 wide receiver, you could say, and he's going to want to be paid like a top 10 wide receiver. Sitting there, I realized Galladay's not the answer for us. He's not. That Atlanta game showed me how much he's willing to give, but my main focus is this. I go back to the Rams Patriots Super Bowl when superstar Todd Gurley sat on the sideline on a bicycle. I'm sorry, but if that's where you're sitting and you're not on the field, you're not worth it. 
There's a reason LA didn't pay the man. There's a reason why they shipped him off to Atlanta. Because if you're injured and you can't be on the field, you can't suit up, you can't get paid the big top dollar. You can't. And Detroit should not pay Kenny Galladay what he's going to want. I am a huge advocate of Galladay. I love Galladay. I never wanted to see it end up like this. But we can't pay him top dollar. Not if A, you're injured for 12 games. It's going to suck. It's going to absolutely suck seeing Galladay suit up in different colors. But we can't afford it if we have such a bad defense. And so this is where I'm going. Part A, the defense has been exposed. Part B, we can't pay Galladay because of our defense. And with a guy like Brad Holmes coming in, who's able to identify talent, there is going to be big moves that are happening this offseason. Lions fans, get ready. We are going to see a lot of guys getting shipped off. You look at Danny Amendola, Marvin Jones Jr., Kenny Galladay. Those are three huge name wide receivers for the Detroit Lions that will most likely not be wearing our colors next season. And with a defense as bad as ours is, it would be irresponsible to pay Kenny Galladay like a top 10 wide receiver. It would be irresponsible to the organization. It would be irresponsible to the fans. It would be just the wrong move. And I love Galladay. So this pains me to even have to bring up, to have to say, especially because for the first five games, I was all aboard. I wanted to pay Galladay. I wanted to see him stick around. But as the season unfolded and the defense melted before us like a freaking Indiana Jones movie, we have no choice. We have no choice but to ship Galladay off, to let him go, and to then make the proper moves defensively. And listen, we have the seventh overall draft pick. I'm seeing a lot of Lions fans, a lot of people pointing to some guys like Smith, some of these wide receivers that will be in the draft, and with our capital, we could potentially pick up and look at a bright future wide receiver-wise. There's going to be wide receivers on the free agency market. I see. I read an article regarding Robinson as a potential, potential candidate. What I'm getting at is this. Our defense is so bad, it is irresponsible to pay Kenny Galladay. But again, these are my own personal thoughts. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Should the Detroit Lions pay Kenny Galladay? Look forward to reading it, discussing it with you. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you later on Let's Talk Lions.